Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John, here's my report. The Nintendo company of Redmond was struck recently by a computer virus. The problem came to light when a Seattle boy noticed that the Mario Brothers had started leering at women and singing the dirty words to Louie Louie. <laughs> An injured Brian Bosworth missed the Seahawks minicamp this week. A team spokesman said that Boz's condition remains unchanged. He's still a big jackass. <laughs> The Navy is reportedly training dolphins to fire 45 caliber nose guns in order to protect naval bases such as Bangor. This comes after the Navy's failed attempts to teach the dolphins to dial 911. <laughs> after a concerned citizens group closed down the Maplethorpe photo exhibit in Cincinnati, a Seattle decency group has proposed a bill which would prohibit anyone under 18 from looking at the Gateway Tower. <laughs> A California man has requested that his head be frozen so he can be brought back to life in the future. He pointed out that Sonic guard Dale Ellis had gone through the procedure several years ago <laughs> with very few side effects. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. is on this week's cover of Sports Illustrated. Asked if he feared the Sports Illustrated jinx, Griffey replied, Heck no, I already play for the Mariners. <laughs> and finally... Robert Fulgham, author of All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten and It Was on Fire When I Lay Down on It, has written another book of his folksy philosophy. The new book is titled, That Wasn't Me, It Was the Liquor Talking. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you and good night.